Hello, this is Nick G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Last time, we gained a level, and I probably should have rearranged my party order a little bit here. So, how about we do that first? Let's get Zhang Fei up front, Guan Yu somewhat in the middle there, and that ought to work out well. Okay, yeah, good. I could replace Lu Fang with Ji Ling, because the latter has slightly more strength. But they're almost identical. And now that we've got four spears, we can get through these enemies a lot faster. Anyone with a spear could deal like 90 to 100 damage. And except for Lu Feng, of course, because he doesn't have one. Oh well. But uh, okay, so yeah, I want to get out of here and loot whatever treasure I can on the way out. There's a, a couple more on the right side of this floor, but I gotta go back past that first set of steps that I passed up before. So I'm not gonna... Well, even if I had a gold wing, I wouldn't use it right now. I want to get everything out of this place. Oh, we got a, another general there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's got Yahoo. So, let's see. Yeah, we can still kill him pretty quickly. Now, he might still use Yahuo, even though we're going all out like this. But if I see a good opportunity, I would like to heal up some of my generals, but I think we'll be fine anyway. Until then, yeah, we can just go all out on these bandits. Yeah, at this point in the game, generic enemies become much less threatening. And we get another level! What do we get out of this one? Hey, there we go. And we learned a new healing tactic, Tong Zian. This one restores up to 500 soldiers. So that's pretty nice. And I think it costs 5 TP there. Okay, so let's see. We gotta move Guan Yu up in the party order there. Go like that. And that ought to be good. I suppose I could move maybe Lu Feng's equipment over to Ji Ling if I really wanted to use him. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like our uh, health bars there started changing colors for some reason. So yeah, whenever you get... Well, I actually don't know precisely how that works, but as you go further into the game and you get more soldiers for your generals, you start... Or they change the colors of the health bars. Or the soldiers, I guess, there. So I guess it's because Zhang Fei got over, what, 500 soldiers? Yeah, that would have been just now, so... Maybe that's how it works, I don't know. Unfortunately, now we're not running into any more generals. I don't need to fight any of them. We already got Ji Ling. That's all I really cared to get out of this place. All right. So let's get a around here and find another general. What does this guy do? Nothing too extraordinary. I mean, he does have a decent amount of strength, but yeah, I was able to heal up in that other battle there. The general just had a ton of soldiers, but nothing to really worry about. Oh, we get, can recruit the guy. Okay, never mind then. Who is your master? I mean, I would guess you want or Genshu. But you're in a cave. Doesn't exactly sound like the best way to try and earn a promotion. Hmm, maybe I should heal up Guan Ping. Well, eventually. Of course, if I can stop getting into a battle every two steps, that would make this a lot faster. Well, that's 8-bit encounter rates for you. Holy cow! Okay, then... I don't think it matters which path we do. We go first. There's treasure at each of them and nothing that extraordinary, but I want to pick everything up that I can out of this place. 
I mean, at least we're getting some pretty good experience out of all this. Yeah, spread out the damage a little bit there, why don't you? So, yeah, there's really no reason to use all out, or not use all out. Okay, then, on the right side, there's a little more treasure. And more bandits that are way too weak. Yeah, it's like the mid-game, where we really don't need to worry about that too much. Not that we're really in the mid-game yet, but we're working on it. Okay, and then here, last treasure. Ooh, good money. We're gonna need that in the near future. But all right, let's get out of here. I do need to go back to heal up before moving onward, since I did need to use quite a bit of TP for healing up. Or at least restoring my soldiers, but I mean, I need to get my TP restored. We're gonna need a lot of it where we're going. You might have noticed they have not one, but two palisades in front of the castle there. We're going to need a lot of help to get through all of that. Not that it's extraordinarily difficult. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, with all the boss fights you're going through, why aren't you using your power pills? And, well, as you can see from the bosses that I fought before, they're not extraordinarily difficult, so I didn't really want to use them. I'd rather use a more renewable resource, like TP there. But, uh, no, I'm not going to bribe you to join us. You'd think these enemy generals would take a hint and realize after dying, or, well, being defeated by us five times that, you know, they're, they're not going to win. Especially with all my tactics points able to heal everyone up there. Yeah, we should be good to uh, make it back, okay? Or, well, to rest up at the end. Uh, what was that? Hoinan that I was at before? Where we fought Ji Ling the first time. But, uh, okay. Getting there, eventually... Yeah, you think the spears are powerful at this point, viewers? <laughs> oh, we're going to get much more powerful weapons. And in the near future, too. But not in this cave. We've cleared everything out. So yeah, there's a castle in the upper left and the two palisades there. So we're going to have to... Yeah, we need to rest up. I'm going to want as much TP as I can get. Before heading in there. Yeah, unfortunately, with the non-Tiger Generals, since they only have a fixed number of soldiers, they eventually lose their usefulness. And they just keep falling further and further back in the party order. But fortunately, they do bring some new Generals, even non-Tiger Generals, that have a, at least a decent amount of soldiers. But we've been stuck in the hundreds for, oh, well, since the start. But that's okay. It'll get us by, but that's basically how they do it with the generals that you recruit throughout the game. Where you'll have tiger generals that are better towards the end of a chapter, but then when you get to a new chapter, they have even more powerful ones, even with a fixed number of soldiers that are pretty good. But, uh, nope, nope, I don't, or do I even have a horse left? Oh, not you. Let's see, nope, we don't. Yeah, so, as you can see, I had just one inventory slot left over, so that's why I bought the number of power pills that I did, so that way I'd have some 
enough room to get all the treasures in there because unfortunately at Huainan there's or what is it uh, there's no item shop so I couldn't just sell my excess stuff there and I didn't want to have to throw anything away or just drop some stuff eventually I may need to do that but not not at this point But yeah, for now, I'm just going to keep everything where it is. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, we made it. Whew, that was a long cave there. Or at least for this game, that was long. But can we make it all the way up to Nanyang Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!